Did you know that Israel is uh, paying influencers on social media a thousand dollars a video? To uh, put out reports about Hamas being evil and savage and uh, beheading babies and doing all this shit and defending Israel's right to defend themselves um, in this genocide. A thousand dollars a video. They're paying influencers. <laughs> to promote their fucking genocide. First of all, shame on any of you fucking influencers who took the bait and the money and did this. Shame on you. You are complicit in the genocide of a people. Second of all, shame on fucking Israel. Uh, you know what? I, I would expect nothing less since you're just a vassal st state of the United States who does the same fucking thing. It's always about controlling the narrative. And it's always about putting your propaganda out there to justify the horrific fucking things you do to other people in the world. Just like the fucking United States does. Um, it's disgusting. And as, as a United States citizen, I'm going to continue to fight against my own country doing it. And I'm going to continue to fight against Israel doing it. This is horrific. Viral jurnalis Rumania melakukan kebohongan saat melaporkan perang Hamas dan Israel. Pasalnya, sang reporter mengaku sedang berlindung dari serangan militer Hamas. Namun sebaliknya, ia berada di tempat yang aman lantaran terlihat orang berseliweran di belakangnya. Adapun video tersebut telah beredar di media sosial, wanita berkaus merah muda itu sedang tiarap dan berada di balik mobil putih. Ia pun sedang melaporkan perkembangan terkini perang Israel Hamas. Dalam laporannya, ia mengaku bersembunyi untuk berlindung dari serangan militan Palestina. Sang jurnalis pun menampilkan rasa ketakutannya terhadap situasi konflik. Namun pada kenyataannya, jurnalis wanita itu tidak berada di tengah ketegangan perang. Sebaliknya, ia berada di lingkungan aman lantaran banyak warga Israel yang yang berjalan dan bersepeda tanpa rasa takut. Sontak video yang viral ini langsung menuai kecaman dari berbagai pihak. Banyak orang yang menyebut aksi jurnalis itu sebagai propaganda. Bahkan jurnalis yang tak diketahui namanya itu disebut sebagai ratu drama, lantaran melaporkan berita palsu dan dibuat-buat. Shalom, saya Monique Rakers dari Fakta Israel. Bapak Ibu, Kemarin ditemukan 40 bayi di permukiman Yahudi Kafar Aza. Lokasinya 2 km dari perbatasan Israel dan Gaza. 40 bayi yang ditemukan ini beberapa di antaranya dalam keadaan tanpa kepala atau terpenggal. Bapak Ibu bisa bayangkan betapa rendahnya Hamas ini. Beraninya sama bayi. Apa salah bayi? Pipi sendiri aja nggak bisa, mereka masih pakai popok. Jadi kesimpulannya, Hamas sangat biadab. Hamas adalah kelompok teroris. Hamas adalah penjahat terhadap kemanusiaan. Kita seharusnya menolak terorisme. Dan kita seharusnya membuka mata kita bahwa Hamas adalah teroris. We have some really uh, disturbing new information yeah. uh, out of Israel. The Israeli Prime Minister spokesman just confirmed babies and toddlers were found with their heads decapitated in Kafar Aza in southern Israel after Hamas attacks in the kibbutz over the weekend. That has been confirmed um, by the Prime Minister's office. <laughs> Thank you.
Many of the newspapers, um, the Metro, the Times, the Telegraph, leading on these reports from Kafar Azar. We saw our correspondent Stuart Ramsey's report from there. Um, it seems to have come from one Israeli journalist who said that she was told by soldiers there that 40 babies had died and some of them had been beheaded. Yes. Truly horrifying. Um, we have not seen the evidence of that. We have asked uh, the Israeli Defence Forces, the IDF, three times to confirm those numbers. They have not yet. Do you care about the babies that were beheaded? No, the babies they were never beheaded. That was a made-up story. How do you? It's not true. It's Show me the pictures now. So what about Show 19? me the pictures. You're a lion yeah, full of You're full of Shalom, saya Monique Rakers dari Fakta Israel. Saudara Israel membantah menyerang rumah sakit di Gaza. Menurut analisa sistem operasional IDF, rentetan roket diluncurkan ke arah Israel yang melintas di sekitar rumah sakit. Nah, menurut informasi intelijen dari sejumlah informasi uh, dari sejumlah sumber yang dimiliki oleh IDF, organisasi uh, jihad Islamlah yang bertanggung jawab atas serangan tersebut. Ternyata roket yang diarahkan untuk Israel jatuh menimpa rumah sakit. Nah, Poinnya adalah Israel tidak bertanggung jawab atas korban yang terjadi. Karena Israel pun sudah memerintahkan Gaza, warga sipil, untuk dievakuasi. Saya mendukung Israel melawan teroris. Saya Berdiri untuk Israel melawan kebencian karena kita tidak bisa memilih menjadi orang apa. Mari kita saling mengasihi, mari kita mengasihi Israel, mengasihi orang Yahudi karena bukan salah mereka mereka lahir sebagai orang Yahudi, bukan salah mereka kalau mereka menjadi warga negara Israel. Tetap berdoa untuk Israel, tetap percaya bahwa janji Tuhan ya dan amin. Terima kasih Anda mau mendengar informasi ini. Saya Monique Rakers, salam damai dari Fakta Israel. Why is it a problem? It's only a problem when Israelis die. Why is it not a problem when Palestinians die? Tell me why. The media only, only mentions the deaths of the Israelis. They don't want to mention the deaths of the Palestinians. Why? Why? I'm so disgusted. It's only a problem what Hamas is doing. But it's not a problem what the IDF is doing and the Israeli settlers. They're colonizing. They're colonizing land. They're taking over land. They're, they're killing kids. 
And then it's so funny when the media, when the media is like, oh, here they're killing women and children, etc., etc. Israel's been doing that for decades, bro. Why is it only a problem when Hamas tries to come back? Bro, make that make sense because it sure in the fuck doesn't. Our media fucking sucks.